Hey guys, it's T Dubs, and we are on the Feed the Beast Monster Pack server. So I'm making a little quick video because one of our subscribers actually had a question, um, and it was about bio reactors. So what we're gonna do is we are going to actually take a look at that, and I'm gonna help him out because the previous episode that I did on bio reactors was busted. We were using uh, cow milk and that no longer works so what we have here um, you need the biofuel generator and the biofuel reactor so the biofuel generator you're going to need real quick is what you're going to use to put uh, or basically you're going to get your power from so you're going to put that down and then about two blocks away you want to go ahead and put down the bio reactor and that's actually what you're going to use to put all the stuff that you want um, into it. Alright, so I'm also going to go ahead and grab this redstone energy conduit. I'm just going to plug those. Wait, oh, that's right. You actually want to use a fluid duct right here. So once you've done that, um, and on this side, the generator is actually what's getting the power. You're going to put the redstone energy conduit on the other side of that, like that. Okay, and we're also going to use. For this instance, we're going to use a hardened energy cell. So we're going to put that in just like that. And of course, it's set to blue, which allows it to uh, get in some energy. Now, just holding it, I brought it up to set 19,200. But for this purpose, it'll work just fine. Okay, so if you want to, um, you see like I have a tree farm over here. You could actually do this yourself. And you could like, see, I'll show you really quickly. I have um, basically what recycles the uh, saplings right into here. Now I have it split off where most of it or some of it goes into this trash can. And what you can do with that is instead of going into the trash can, you can go into like a bioreactor. You know, it really doesn't matter, but as long as you have trees that are still getting planted and that are still getting torn down. Um, and then some that go off into this. Now this stuff really lasts a while. So I'm gonna just, for instance, that we had this thing running in and it had a steady flow of oak like saplings. Okay, just like that. Now it's building up the buffer here. And as you're gonna see, this is starting to build up. Now the more biofuel that goes in, the energy starts to increase. Now, already off the bat, it's starting to, uh, and you want to make sure the input is uh, set to maximum. As you see, that's still going in there pretty fast, and it's charging this thing up extremely fast. Now, also, um, it would definitely um, wouldn't hurt to have a redstone energy conduit. If you need to use leadstone or hardened, that's fine too. That's not a problem. Um, but yeah, this thing is really going up fast. Like we started at 19,000. We're already at 183. Pretty sure this could run your base easily and also regurgitate or when I say regurgitate, I mean also use uh, it could basically fuel your base and a harvest or a uh, harvester tree farm. So just make sure that you uh, and if you want to see another tutorial as far as setting something like this up with that. Let me know in the comments. Um, I can do that as well. But as you see, this biofuel is still building up from what we put in here. And it's all gone, but it's still growing. And that's because of this right here, the buffer. The buffer is going down as it puts stuff into here. So another thousand or so, it's going to run up all the way up to the top. And it goes down very, very slowly. So it's producing an enormous amount of energy very very quickly um, another way if you want to see some quick results um, you can let this completely fill up and then the energy will fill up right here and then you can connect the uh, whatever energy cell that you want to use right here but anyways guys that's a quick tutorial for me today and I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you want to see something else done or guys just have any questions in general alright guys see you next time